I mean, this is pretty much it, guys. This is the moment right now to sell your Bitcoin because the crash that is about to come is going to be absolutely insane. Bitcoin is going to have a massive, massive crash here to the downside. And trust me, again, a lot of people are going to be surprised by this. But Bitcoin, in my opinion, is probably going to come down here to 20,000 US dollar. Yes, you heard that correctly. 20,000 US dollar. A massive Bitcoin crash is about to happen here very, very soon. Uh, you know, this is what I've been talking about in many of my videos. Okay. I'm a little bit sarcastic right now, but there is a very important lesson that you should get out of this video. And that is that whenever Bitcoin is going to have a move to the downside, which it probably will, again, no financial advice, but that's just my personal opinion. A lot of YouTubers out there are going to say Bitcoin is crashing, sell your Bitcoin, blah, 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 bunch of clickbaity titles. But in my opinion, the crash here to 20,000 US dollar, if you can even call it a crash, it's going to happen, but it's not going to be anything here to be worried about. It's not going to mean the end of Bitcoin, and it certainly doesn't mean that you should sell your Bitcoin. Again, no financial advice, but what personally is going to happen, and I've talked about this in the video before, is we're going to go down here to 20k. I mean, that's, in my opinion, almost certain, less like, you know, Donald Trump or Putin buys a bunch of Bitcoin. But I doubt that's very much going to happen. We had a very, very bullish BlackRock news here. Uh, and we got a small pumper to the upside. Probably the most bullish event that we had in crypto in the last two years. But we saw almost no reaction to it. I mean, we had a nice little pumper to the upside. But we just came back straight down. Now, normally what you want to get is, you know, if you have a bullish news event, let's say you have a nice pumper to the upside. And then you get a bullish news event. You want the price here to continue to move it to the upside. So let's say you get a bullish news event over here. And that means that the price is very, very bullish. As well, if you, what is even better, of course, is if, if you have a bearish news event. So let's say the price is rising in to the upside into a bull market. You have a bearish news, gets a small correction to the downside, but very quickly it recovers back to the upside. What does that mean? There's a lot of strength in the market and it probably means you're going to get a continuation. The same thing happens, of course, when you have a very, very bullish event. So let's say, as Bitcoin has been doing, we've kind of been going to the upside, we kind of go sideways, and then we got this bullish event, very bullish. You know, if you only see a small pump to the upside, and then it's very clear it comes back down. And that's pretty much a top pattern. And that pretty much means here there's no, not enough buyers. If there were buyers, they would have bought here at the announcement. Didn't get any buyers. So that's pretty much a move here to the downside in almost all certainly. Now, I'm not going to sell my Bitcoin. Of course, I'm going to buy more Bitcoin on the dip. I still have a bunch of fiat left. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin at 17,000. I went all in at 17,000. Did it live on YouTube as well. So... You know, even if Bitcoin had the massive pummel to the upside and I would be completely wrong, guess what? I'd still make a bunch of profits. But if we're going to go down to 20K, I'm just going to buy more Bitcoin. Now, the indicator that I'm showing right now, this is the wave edge indicator here on the two week time frame. I haven't talked about the wave edge indicator in quite a bit, and that's because I wanted to talk about some other indicators. But I'm going to talk about it here more in the coming few videos moving forward. So what we got here is whenever we got a red cross here, pretty much that pretty much meant a crash here to the downside. In, you know, even if I go back here to 2017, you could see a crash here. This was about a 37% crash here. This, of course, was the bear market start here, 85% correction. Then we got a halving. We got two crosses here, which were kind of a fake out, but you wouldn't sell anyway after halving. So regardless of that, you know, that's just kind of what it is. Then over here, we crashed about like, what would it be? 75%. Now, I don't think we're going to crash 75%. We've got three crosses here in a, in a row. And we have sideways action, in my opinion. That's just going to mean here, again, a bump here to the downside. So what we're probably going to see here on the wave indicator as well is what we saw back in 2019 is you're going to see here a smaller wave here. So what we got here is we got here a big wave here to the downside. And then eventually we have a smaller wave to the downside. And this eventually resulted here in this move eventually happening here to the upside. So you got a smaller wave. And then eventually here you had this move here to the upside. So very similar as well here. We had the top here. We had the big wave. We had a small wave. Divergence, boom. We went here to the downside. So now again, we have a big wave over here. We're going to wait here just simply for a smaller wave. And once this is going to connect here, probably going to get a cross here as well. Together with that, boom. Massive profits in my opinion. In my opinion, we're going to go up here to like 160,000 US dollar. So that would be, well, from 20,000 US dollar. Let's see how much that profit would be. That will be 160,000 US dollar. Um, so that will be 700%. This is all, again, what I'm personally going to do. I'm not telling you to go out and buy a bunch of Bitcoin, but this is just my strategy moving forward. Get a smaller wave, and then I'm just going to sell here on a 700% profit. Quite easy and simple strategy like that. Of course, we as well have the Gaussian channel, and this is as well absolutely flipping bullish right now. What you normally get here, or at least we got it here in 2019, but we got it 
a little bit here in 2016 as well. 2016 bull market went a little bit quickly to the upside, which I don't really expect. But back in 2019, what you got here is that it eventually here, it flipped bullish. Once it flipped bullish, that was the top here. You had a correction here back into the green channel and eventually you got here move to the upside so again that is just exactly what we are as well expect, expecting here we're gonna get here a top here so we got it flipping over here bullies so that was the top version to do this 19 exactly the top go down start to be a market go way into the channel eventually go sideways a little bit go to 20k and boom have that move here to the upside so the gossip channel as well is basically predicting here what i'm as well saying let's go to twitter very quickly i'm still going to call it twitter anyway but we got here an interesting chart here. This is from Stock Money Lizard. Now this person is pretty much exactly predicting here what I'm predicting here. And that is that you're gonna get a bump here to the upside here after the beer market, but that's just gonna be again an extended accumulation stage. Eventually you're gonna get halving and basically before halving that's just all accumulation, all accumulation. You're gonna get some dips here to the downside here and there, which is gonna be absolutely ultimate beautiful accumulation, you know, zones, whatever you wanna call it. And that's probably going to dip here down to twenty thousand US dollars, similar as it did in two thousand nineteen to four thousand. Going to buy the dips, and then eventually you get the halving, some sideways action, and eventually move to the upside. Probably some kind of a double one of structures probably going to play out, which means again a little bit of a move to the downside, and eventually halving and a move to the upside to you know more than hundred thousand US dollar, which would probably happen as a halving, which is going to happen next year around April. So last tweet I want to talk about here is from Paul Krugman, or well. It's actually from Dylan Leclerc, which is right now replying to Paul Krugman, which is probably the world's most famous economic guy out there, economic guru. It's all a bunch of, well, it's basically like TA. You know, there's like a bunch of crypto YouTubers out there which do like TA, where they draw some triangles. And that's basically Paul Krugman. And he got a Nobel Prize for his economic theory or blah, blah, blah. I don't really even care because it's not that important. Because if you're actually going to look at his tweet, you can see how this is an absolute massive loser who just has, no, well, maybe he knows about economics, but he is just a complete fool because he posted an inflation update where he excluded shelter, used cars, food and energy, which are basically the things that you actually spend your money on. So he basically created an inflation update where <laughs> he didn't take into account the most important things, you know, food, shelter, which is what most people spend most of their money on, as well energy as well. He basically excluded that and then he said inflation has largely been defeated. Uh, this is the kind of people that central bankers listen to. Paul Krugman is an absolute fool. I have no idea why he even got a Nobel, not a Nobel Peace Prize, a Nobel Prize uh, for economics. But uh, yeah, if you're gonna take, you know, if you if you only take into account the cheap things in life, well, inflation is not gonna be that high. Maybe they should just keep printing more money. I mean, if you just exclude shelter, cars, food, and energy. Yeah, everything is just going to be fine, guys. Uh, I mean, at that point in time, there's just absolutely no inflation. This guy got a Nobel Prize for it. So if this guy can get a Nobel Prize, well, I can probably as well get a Nobel Prize. I can probably create the same kind of garbage that this guy is creating because this is absolutely, of course, ridiculous. The government's going to find a way here, of course, to print more money. And, uh, you know, just as what Paul Krugman is saying here, if you just exclude all the important things, which is what the CPI pretty much already is, you're going to see inflation has already been defeated, which is probably what the central bankers are going to use here once the next recession hits. They're going to say inflation has been defeated, They're going to print more money, and Bitcoin is going to boom, 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 go to the upside and make us all filthy and filthy rich. With that, I want to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.